Okay, so now as the skin is cleansed, I am going to conduct my skin analysis using my magnifying lamp. Before you put the magnifying lamp over your client, you're gonna wanna protect their eyes. Let them know that a bright light is coming in their way so they don't get startled from the bright light. Sometimes you might have to do a double iPad to just um, give a little bit more protection for people with more sensitive eyes. So you're gonna bring the magnifying close. The diopter of the magnifier is normally about a five diopter. And when you're going through, you are gonna look at the texture, the tone of the skin, breaking the face into three zones. So zone one is normally between the brows and the hairline. Zone two is from the eyes down to the upper lip. And then zone three is from the corner of the lip down to the bottom of the chin. Okay, so when I'm looking at zone one, I'm going to pinch the skin. And as you're pinching the skin, you can see a little bit of that crepiness of the skin and how the skin just slowly kind of plumps back up. That shows that her skin is a little dehydrated. Also, as you're looking um, closer to her skin, she definitely has some dry flakes. There is a scar here and a couple of fine lines, or also known, I call them experience lines, to just be a little more mindful of my verbiage towards my clients. As I'm analyzing their skin, um, I, this is a great time to talk about home care, treatment plans, what they're using that could be causing some of the conditions that you're seeing. And I definitely see some hyperpigmentation as well as open comedones, also known as your blackheads. So going into zone two, I see similar um, conditions where I see hyperpigmentation. I see a little bit of dehydration, some larger pores just on the apples of the cheeks, and again, some open and closed comedones around her nostrils. And if you look a little close around her nose, you can see some telangiectasias around her nose, which are distended capillaries. Going into zone three, there are some healing papules, which are just healing breakouts, healing pimples in layman's term. Um, also, you can kind of see there's still some hyperpigmentation, a little bit of that dehydration, as well as open comedones along the tip of her chin. So I would say um, my model here is definitely more on the drier to dehydrated side. And um, today I will be probably focusing more on that moisture level, moisture level as well as exfoliating the skin.